Good morning, Tinkercad friends. I have got another freaky fast fun lesson for you. Today, we are gonna use Scribble again to make an awesome ornament and use my cool duplicate trick that I enjoy so much. So, let's get cracking. First things first, sign into Tinkercad, create a new design, and let's name this design ornament. All right, so each one of these is a centimeter. I want to make a ornament that's about five centimeters, six centimeters tall, maybe a little more, but I want to do it with scribble. When you print on a 3D printer, if you build outward and then slope back in on your shape, it'll print without supports, which is my goal. So I'm going to start from this middle line and move out just a hair. I'm picturing having something spin inside this. And here's my cool slope. And then I'm going to come back and I want to end at that same spot with a peak. When I hit done, this comes in and it's quite large, right? But I want to click on it and I want to make it one millimeter thick, maybe two millimeters thick. Those are numbers that are up to you. We're going to, of course, print any color we want, but I just want to make this look green because that feels cool to me. I want to look at it from one of the corners and I want to find this rotation handle and I want to rotate it 90 degrees so it stands straight up. When you press the letter D, it snaps up nice and tall. I'm going to look at it from the top and do control D. Now watch closely, when you do control D, it duplicates and you may have seen it blink. I'm going to take the duplicate and I'm going to rotate it whatever degrees I pick. And then I want to line up the centers. So remember our center was this piece. So I'm just using the arrow keys to move so those are lined up. Never click anything or you'll break it. Make sure you just touch the arrow keys. And then when you're happy, just do control D again and again and again. And it'll rotate all the way around your amazing shape. Now if yours does not rotate, that means that you touched something in between that and you just need to back up and do the duplicate steps again. So right there, it is a nifty ornament. Uh, it will print in place. To help it print, I'm going to make this bottom edge real flat. Let me show you how to do that. I'm just going to press the number one for the height. So it's a one millimeter uh, cube. And then I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to group it. And when that does, it slices the bottom so that it's super flat and ready for printing. If we hit the letter D, it drops down to the work plane. And you can see it is a sweet little ornamental shape. I want to print a holder and I'm going to do that with a tube. Scroll down and find your torus. Shrink it to the size you want. Now another trick I use here is to hold shift so it shrinks all at once. That's going to be the size I want. Here's my rotation. Once again, if you stay close to the shape, you get the cool tick marks. I'm going to grab both of these pieces and use a line so that they are centered and centered. I'm going to hide this for a moment. So I'm just trying to show you all the skills that are available. Pull it up crazy high. Show them. And holy mackerel, I had that in a decent spot to begin with. It does seem a little large for the shape, so I'm going to shrink it. And then I'm going to do that align again so that they are centered and centered. Lift it up just a hair. And that ornament is ready for printing. As it prints, it'll go all the way around. It'll move out without needing supports and design that awesome shape in a matter of no time. Friends, I hope you make a lot of awesome ornaments using this technique. If you do, please share them with us at HL Mod Tech on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Seeing those designs pop up is just the highlight of my day. Also, if you find the movie useful, please hammer that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Merry Christmas, friends.